Receive the new keys from your guy. He has the Stalin satellite network in his house. The download speed is 50 megabits per second and the upload speed is 5 megabits per second. Now he wanted to extend this Stalin network to his new office, which is 500 feet from his house. There's two computers and two mobile phones in the new office need to access the Stalin network. He planned to pull the fiber optic cable from his house to the new office and bury the cable, then set up the device in his office to provide the Wi-Fi coverage. He wanted to know how to set up this kind of system. Alright, let's move to the demonstration board and see how we can extend the Starlink network to his new office. Before we get started, I want to remind you sharing the incoming traffic from the Starlink for commercial purpose is not allowed it based on the Starlink's user term. You may want to consult the Stalin or read the user term first. This is the basic setup. We got a Stalin satellite network in the house, and this is the new office. Let's check the setup in the house. The dish is hooked up to this router. It's the original setup. And we got the power, powering this router and provide the PoE power over Ethernet to the dish. We, if we need to extend the network to the office, we do need the Ethernet port, right? There's no Ethernet port. Here we need one device. This is the Ethernet adapter. We got the input and the output. The output is the network port. Let's connect this Ethernet adapter to the Starlink. Remove the connection from the dish and connect it to the Ethernet adapter. Now connect the, to the router. We didn't change the connection, but we got the Ethernet port from the Ethernet adapter. Let's attach this adapter to the wall. All right, the setup is good. We got the Ethernet port. You need to work with the fiber optic cable, but this is just the Ethernet port. So we need to have another device called a media converter. The media converter will convert the optical signal to the electrical signal. We have the Ethernet port and one SFP slot. This slot is supposed to work with the fiber optic cable, but it's empty because we still need another device called SFP transceiver. When the SFP transceiver works with the media converter, we got the port for the fiber optic cable. Remember, the SFP transceiver determines what kind of fiber optic cable we can use. This is the single mode type and what kind of connector we can use. It's the LC type. Let's attach this media converter to the wall and power it up. Now we just need a short patch code to link this Ethernet adapter to this media converter. The setup is ready in the house. Let's move to the office. This is the location of the office. The client has two computers and two mobile phones need to access the Starlink network. We will add the PoE switch to the office. There's eight Ethernet ports. We can connect the two computers to this Ethernet port and set up another device called Access Point to provide the Wi-Fi coverage in the office. This is the outdoor version, but you can pick the indoor version if you just want to provide the Wi-Fi inside the office. This switch supports PoE power over Ethernet. We need just one cable to provide the power and data to this access point. Now let's power up this switch. Here we got two SFP slots. This SFP slot is designed for the fiber optic cable, just like the media converter, but it's empty since we need another device called SFP transceiver. Let's install this SFP transceiver. Now we have the port for the fiber optic cable. Just one last equipment is the fiber optic cable. This is the factory pre-made fiber optic cable. The terminal is being built in the factory. There's no need to make the factory in the field. And we choose the single mode fiber optic cable since the single mode fiber optic cable can reach longer distance than the multi-mode. 
and there's no problem for the speed. We are having a one gigabit speed between the office and the house and the house. All right, let's connect this fiber optic cable. Let's take one strand for the media converter and connect another end to the PoE switch. We just use one strand to establish the network connection between the house and the office. Since this is the BIDI transceiver, it will take different wavelengths to transmit and receive the data. We don't need two strands. This strand is not used at all. The client also plans to bury the fiber optic cable. If you want to bury the fiber optic cable, make sure you choose the bury tight and put the fiber, a fiber optic cable one feet underground to avoid the crash from the vehicle or the truck. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please leave your question in the comment section below.